There it is. This is it, Julia. It's what we've been waiting for. It's what Arsenal fans have been waiting for. This is the news conference from Arsenal. Uh, this afternoon, David Dean leading the way, Thierry Henry in next, obviously, with uh, Arsene Wenger. Uh, huge day for Arsenal. And it's what uh, the Arsenal fans have been desperate to hear. Especially since the uh, hugely disappointing events of Paris on Wednesday nights, 14 minutes away from winning the European Cup. And now this is the best possible news for Arsenal fans. Um, good afternoon. Thierry would like to tell you something. Thierry, after six months of speculation. Well, I think uh, uh, you all know it's not a surprise anymore, but um, I'm staying here uh, to play, uh, obviously, even more longer uh, for the club that I love. Um, it's been um, amazing since I joined, I joined the club, uh, obviously, all of you guys had so many speculation uh, and all thought maybe I was going to leave. Um, I won't lie. At one point, you know, that did cross my mind, but um, at one point, you know, I'm a guy who, I've, you know, I, I think with my heart and uh, my heart told me to stay and um, one thing that I can say is that um, it seems like I, I first joined the club uh, because uh, it seems like like a new signing. <laughs> now I would like to say something also that uh, you know the people that I have uh, obviously Mr. Lynn on my right and Arsen on my left. Uh, without them, I wouldn't have been here talking to you right now. Uh, and uh, uh, for me also to say seven years ago, uh, I would have I wouldn't have been in front of you talking to you without um, the two men uh, right by my side. So I just wanted to carry on the writing the story of Arsenal with them and obviously with, uh, with the team and um, in the past year, but even before, um, the, the love that you know, the fans uh, showed me um, was more than amazing um, and after the way we lost uh, on Wednesday, you know, I, I couldn't let them down so it was uh, another thing also to add in uh, the positive thing who made me stay. Uh, obviously, as you know, my wife is English and I always say and I refer London as my hometown. Because uh, people here, uh, if I can say, um, welcome me with open arms. Um, even though it was difficult at the beginning and I had to show what I could do on the pitch, but still, you know, the love that I have here and uh, that I receive from my fans and even sometimes from non-Arsenal fans, you know, it's not something to, to forget about. And uh, uh, as I said to the boss, and as I said last time to the when uh, I got my, my award of uh, best player of the year, voted by the press, uh, I said that uh, it's difficult to leave a country like England because the passion, I would like to say, is just the best. All the stadiums are full all the time. And, you know, uh, as, you, as, as you saw so many times this year or so, the kind of reception that we have even when we play away. It is uh, more than amazing for me. So, you know, a lot of stuff went through my head. Um, but one of the most important things, and I said it to the boss after the game, um, I know a lot of people t uh, wrote a lot of stuff about that game on on, uh, on Wednesday, but the team showed me that we don't have anything to, to, to earn this to Barcelona. You know, we just, I think on Wednesday, if not, can be so proud about what we did. And the game on Wednesday, you know, reassured me of one thing that I wanted to know all the time. How much, you know, I can, I can, how, how far I can go with that team. And they showed me on Wednesday, all together, obviously, but I said they showed me that they have, they have the team had out and a lot of quality. And I think you saw that too. I know we lost, but I think you saw that too. Did you make the decision truly only after the Champions League final? How close were you before it to actually commit? Well, I always said to you it was going to be before the World Cup, and that is before the World Cup. Um, no, I said to you I wanted to concentrate, obviously, to try to catch Tottenham back to get the fourth spot and uh, obviously concentrate on the Champions League final. Once uh, that was done, it was pretty quick to make up my mind. You know, I'm a guy, uh, that's how I am. 
and uh, you know it, it took a while um, as you all know and uh, you had all, a lot of story to write about it during a year but um, on the other side it was pretty quick you know I, I spoke to the boss I told him that I wanted to stay and um, that was one of the most important thing uh, for me and um, as I said to you, you know, there, is, there are so many things, uh, you know, to talk about why I stayed and all this kind of thing. But first of all, uh, Mr. Dean and uh, and Alsen, the club, the fans, I just thought, you know, I couldn't let them, I couldn't let them down. What was Champions League football an essential you know, part of you staying here? Well, it is important, and as I said, we're not in yet because we're going to have to go through the qualification round um, but it is important for any club in the world uh, obviously you want to play Champions League football even more after what happened uh, on uh, on Wednesday um, but yeah it was uh, it was more than crucial um, that is why as I said to you at the time my my concentration and my mind was on getting that fourth spot and just finally leading the team out at this new stadium and the young wow Thierry Henry uh,